We all have moments in parenthood that we're not particularly proud of and that maybe we've had some bumps along the way, but it's part of the learning process of becoming a parent and having children. I present to you my personal mommy confessions. I sometimes don't do anything all day long but play with my daughter and watch cartoons and eat fishy crackers and then quickly clean the house the last 20 minutes before my husband gets home. I will sometimes eat the last little bit of candy that my daughter has been saving up and then tell her the dog ate it. I trained her to blame her farts on the dog or on daddy because daddies are stinky. Girls don't fart, okay? They poot and it's cute, and rainbows and butterflies shoot out. In order to have time to get ready in the morning, I will give her makeup to slather all over her face. Instead of watching the news like a grown up, I turn to PBS and watch cartoons before my daughter wakes up. I go from coffee to energy drinks to wine and back to coffee all within a 24 hour period. Instead of vacuuming like a good stay-at-home mom should, use my German Shepherd to clean up most food messes. More than happy to do, it's a win-win. On most days, I will rock the sweats and t-shirt or yoga pants look all day long until right before my husband comes home. Then I will put on some real clothing and a little bit of makeup. I haven't been in my jammies all day. I've been productive wearing real clothes. Yeah. I also have taught my daughter to cuss. Her favorite words are shit and fuck, which she uses appropriately and in the right context. So I'm a little proud about that, actually. <laughs> she learns a lot from her mom. I don't always bathe her probably as often as I should. The baths are messy and it's like water and stuff everywhere. So it's like a solid good scrub. I would say probably once to twice a week. I only get one shower a week, why should she get more than me? I mean, come on, kids don't sweat, right? That shit buffs right out. They don't say mom spits not magic for no reason. It gets everything off. I have sprayed some dry shampoo in her hair before going out in public. The exception to the bathing rule is poop. If there's poop, you need to wash that child. We also um, watch a lot of Game of Thrones around her. Good quality television. Sure, she might run around beating people with swords and cutting their heads off and, you know, that's not normal. Kids don't do that. I digress. I, let's see, hide the good food in the house for myself. I stash it in drawers and cupboards, underneath rugs, whatever, that's mine. I lock myself in the bathroom for up to 20 minutes to a half an hour at a time. Mommy needs some me time. I pretend like I'm pooping. I'm not pooping. I'm reading a book or a novel or playing on Facebook. And I don't care how hard you're screaming and crying and shaking the door and things are breaking in the house. I can hear the dog barking, daddy screaming and crying in a corner. And I am going to sit here and I'm going to finish reading all the statuses that happened today. Okay? That's happening. I need this. I will often use the iPod slash TV slash Kindle to bribe her or to babysit her, depending on the situation. You know it works. You know you all do it too. I have seen many a toddler with an iPhone. Hashtag modern parenting. So it's like, look, I will let you play with the iPod for a whole two minutes if when we go in the store you don't scream and freak out in front of everybody. And if you do, I will pretend to take you in the truck and beat you. When really, we're gonna go back in the car and I'm gonna cry. That was embarrassing. I'm not a bad mom, I promise. My daughter's bed is pushed up right next to ours. It's kind of an accidental co-sleeping situation. All right, I'm desperate for sleep just as much as the next mom. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. But it does get a little crowded in our little queen size bed. So in the middle of the night, I will push her into her own bed. Just it's only like a two foot drop, all right? Babies bounce. I didn't do it when she was a baby though. <laughs> only as a toddler, so that's not as bad. It's good for her. She crawls back in bed anyways, and I push her again. My daughter has been known to have a lunch consisting of goldfish and fruit snacks. I do feed her good food when I can. I bought the whole wheat ones though, so waiting. Hide things from her things she likes, like her toys and stuff, because I just don't want to deal with it right now. I only sit there and watch Frozen 
for the 80th time in a day. It's like, oh, I don't know where Frozen went. Gosh, it's, it must have gone bye-bye. Let's do something else. Do you want a color? I only ever get shit done when she's sleeping. She's sleeping right now, actually. No, everything I do is basically while she's sleeping. Dishes, laundry, eating. When they're awake, you just, there's no rest for you. There's no rest for the wicked or the motherly. Unless you're a husband, then you can sleep there. You have some not so fabulous mother moments. Feel free to share, because I would love to know that I'm not doing such a horrible job. We're all in this together. We're all just trying to raise kids that aren't total little shitheads. That's all you can do in life, is just hope your kids are better than you are. Anyways, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out new videos every Friday. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video. It's my first one. If I fucked it up, then sorry. Okay, goodbye now.